Hello and welcome to my 3DS Max 2013 beginner tutorial video series. In this first episode I am going to be going over the interface a little bit and letting you know what to expect from the series and me. I am a beginner very much and this tutorial is also geared at beginners. I've only been doing this for about six months so while I know quite a bit it's not a lot so understand that getting into this. I'll be teaching you, but I'll also be learning myself at the same time. I'm making this video mainly for two reasons. One is to help reinforce a lot of this basic knowledge in my head. And two, because in searching around online, I found a distinct lack of free videos that were decent. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I found some but they were kind of sparse and a lot of them either used an old version which isn't very helpful for a beginner or if they used one of the newer versions would generally abruptly cut off after about 10 or 15 videos I don't know if they just weren't getting the views they wanted if they got distracted by other things in real life or what but now hey that's what you got um Let's see, scheduling. Um, I'm probably going to be releasing a new video every two or three days, I'd say ideally. Um, at least until I start catching up to the level that I'm at. Then it'll probably start pittering off to maybe about once a week. I'll try and not make it any more than once a week though as you know I'm continuing learning. And videos are going to start coming out as I learn how to do things too. But be aware that at a certain point, there's going to be a slowdown, just to let you know. Um, I'm going to try and keep these videos about 10, 15 minutes in length. I, I, I really just want to focus on certain topics and then move on without making giant sprawl videos that cover multiple things. This way it's a lot easier for people to just search and go over a certain video if they need something without having to search through like a half hour long video trying to find exactly what they need. Um, let me see. As I said, I'm a beginner. So if I'm calling something wrong, if I'm doing something in a really weird, out of the way manner, uh, comment, let me know so that I don't keep doing it myself and telling other people to do it. Uh, we all got to help each other learn here. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of tutorial video series. Um, this is my first time doing anything like this, so if the video is messed up, if you can't see things, uh, if the audio is not good enough, comment, send me a message, let me know, whatever way works. Um, I think that's about it for, for what you to expect from this. So I'm going to go ahead and get into covering the layout now. Up here, you have your quick access toolbar. It's kind of got everything to expect. New, open, save, back, forwards. Then you got your pull down menus here. These are going to contain all the options and settings for pretty much everything you'll ever need. Um, although, granted, you're probably going to be using some of these buttons and shortcuts after a while once you start getting the layout. Um, if you look at these, you notice, hey, where, where's, the, where's the file button? It's actually this little blue 3DS Max swirly thingy. I don't know why it's that. I'm guessing just brand recognition. Um, but hey, no, there it is. Got save, import, export. Reset is probably the thing I use most out of here. If you end up accidentally messing up with your layout or even just manually tweaking it and you just want it back how it was, you can just hit reset there. Yes, and it will set everything back to how it was when you very first open the program unless you end up changing that in which case 
I don't know. Next, you got your main toolbar here, which this is going to be how you're selecting items, interacting with them, tweaks to how you interact with them. Uh, you got your materials, your rendering and everything. I'll go over these a little more in the next video. Uh, this is the graphite ribbon here. Um, it contains some definitely useful modeling tools, but I will not be going over it for probably the first couple dozen, not couple dozen, maybe about a dozen videos. Uh, just because it, it, I feel that if I tried to do it now, it was going to be too much to push into your head all at once, and it would probably just end up confusing you. I don't know. I mean, that could change. Let me know what you guys think. Um, over here is a layout view. It just kind of has a bunch of little like preset layouts here that you can select and switch to on the fly. Um, I really don't find it that useful, and I, I really don't like that it's kind of a giant blank space over here. Um, so if you want to get rid of that, just kind of right click up here anywhere in this blank area, viewport layout tabs, deselect it. You can get it back the same way, but I prefer having just that little bit of extra room. Um, you got your layout, your, your perspective views here, whatever you want to call them. My brain's kind of dead right now. I'm tired. Um, front, top, left perspective I'll be going over these a little more in the next video too um, and then over here you have your command panel this is where you're going to be making all of your objects from lights cameras effects uh, tweaking them I'll go into this more in another video for now I'm going to be making a box if you don't know how to make a box yet don't worry I will go over that I'm just doing this now for viewing purposes down here you have most of this is actually for animation uh, don't worry about that for now I'll be going into animation later but it will not be covered in yet again probably the first dozen videos but what I want to focus on is right over here you got a few couple buttons that are rather handy you have zoom right there if you click that you get this little you know scope whatever magnifying glass if you just click drag in and out and if you click on this one, it will do the same thing in all four views. Same with this. This is a little selection thing. If you have an, an object selected and you click this, and whatever window is currently selected, you will center and jump to it. So I'm next to it with a little quad view, it will do that in all four windows. I don't know how many times I've used that, but it is very handy. And I suppose on the topic of windows being selected, you can just click into any one of these if you didn't already know. Uh, middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out. This little doodad here. If you just click on it, you can rotate around your object. You can click any one of these little sides to rotate around it. Home there will send it back to how it was when we first saw it. And let me see. I think that's about good for the first video. Um, I'll start getting into more things here in a little bit. Uh, tell me what you know of this one. What you think of this one. And well, you know, let me know what you thought, what you're expecting. If I can do anything different. You know, send me a message, comment, whatever. Uh... And stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.